Bitcoin dead is trending, but crypto isn't buried just yet. And I'll tell you how to get a kiss on the mouth from Gary V. I'm Busy NFT, and you're watching All Things Web3. As you know, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Google searches for Bitcoin is dead spiked this past week as crypto continued its freefall along with the rest of the market. Over the past 30 days, Bitcoin has fallen more than 30%, touching $17,663 before rebounding to just over $20,800. Ethereum followed suit down 43%, and touching $903 before bouncing back to $1,121. It's likely these drops have just followed the macro economy as people run from risky assets. But Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, sees this correction as a good thing, expecting a giant player to go to zero. I'm looking for something bigger. Somebody out there is in trouble. We don't know who they are yet. We'll find out soon. It'll probably happen in the next 30 days. Kevin believes that this type of event would help define the bottom of the market and clear the way for recovery to begin. On top of this, he and others continue to call on Congress to provide regulations for institutional stability in the blockchain. And uh, Bitcoin will be a commodity. That's fantastic. So it will be under the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. So it will, uh, that will be the place where the spot market, the futures market, uh, and other commodity type uh, digital assets will be regulated. Purists, go ahead and pound the comments with statements like decentralization or death. But we have to understand for Web3 to really take off, serious investors will only join when they have some oversight assurances or recourse against scams and fraud. Meanwhile, big corporations are already laying the groundwork for Web3 infrastructure. Companies like PayPal, Meta, Twitter, and others are too aware of the potential value in this space, and they want in. And if you want in on more great Web3 content, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. When legislation comes, which could be as early as next year according to some reports, it could pave the way for blockchains to be regulated by the Commodities Futures Trading Commissions. This would clarify language such as what is a crypto broker and define reserve requirements for stablecoin issuers. There's certainly a long way for this to go, but it is at a starting point that's necessary for widespread adoption. On the other hand, if you're looking for an entry point back into the market, my guess is that we haven't hit bottom yet. We won't know until mid-July if we're officially in recession and the Fed is signaling its plans to continue raising interest rates to combat inflation. I see the recent support for crypto over the past few days more as consolidation than a realistic price floor. And I'm expecting another 20 to even 50% drop in the currency. There is some good news though. As people are moving away from risk, they are piling into proven projects. CryptoPunk sales are up 232% over the past seven days, with Gary V buying another one for a nice discount. The punk I bought last night for $300,000 would have sold for a million dollars six months ago. And I think that, that excites me because I also see it as if I'm right, which I could be very wrong on, but then it could become a $5 million asset in the future. Some V friends that I talked about just last week have already raised their price floor Black cats are up from 3.99 to 5.89 ETH. Resilient red devils are up from 3.95 to 4.95 ETH. Even ninjas moved from 1.99 to 2.25, now with only seven ninjas for sale. And book game sales are practically non-existent right now. Only eight book games have been sold in the past 24 hours and half that many were sold the day before. While book games are at historic low prices, you may want to wait just a little while longer to see if ETH drops lower so you can maximize your purchasing power. With NFT NYC going on, the NFT community is still having a lot of fun. 
Adam Bomb Squad and VFriends formed a collab to bring some cool merch and then provided some fun marketing with a faux anti-NFT protest at their pop-up. Shout out to Bobby Hundreds for the video. V Friends and Primitive have partnered up to bring us some sick new productive puffin gear. What's up my V Friends family? This is Paul Rodriguez. I am a professional skateboarder and I'm a founder of Primitive Skateboards. So for all the Series 1 and Series 2 holders, productive puffin holders, we have a very special surprise coming for you. All you gotta do is click the link below. For everyone else, just wait for June 24th. We have some very special and very big drop in for you. So stay tuned and much love. All productive puffin holders receive gear depending on if you have a VF1 or a VF2. For everybody else, the merch pre order will be a limited time offer starting this Friday, June 24th at 3 p.m. Eastern and will only last for 12 hours. Also, the V Friends bus has been spotted quite a bit around New York. Just like at VCon, you can always find Corso and May working hard and having fun. Photo credit to Daxon. Finally, for all of you wondering how to get a kiss from Gary, and I know a few of you are, he answered that direct question in Discord this week. He was asked how many VF1s someone had to purchase for a kiss on the mouth, and Gary responded cleanly with 55, of course. Do you want to talk about it? I sure don't. ETH is trending lower, so good luck to whoever's interested in that. Even then, you're going to have to compete with Mona. Until next time, Web3 is the future. Book Games is forever. Thanks for watching.